Hello, welcome back. This is part two of our Bluetooth Low Energy Scanner Android app. In this video, we will get into the code and actually start writing some stuff and make this thing work somehow. So the very first thing we will want to do is create a class called scanner underscore BTLE. So I don't know if you can see this, but I'm sure you guys know how to create a Java class. Okay, so you can see it. Um, this is how you spell it. So if you want to um, spell it the same way as me, you can to be consistent with the tutorial. Otherwise, yeah, you don't, you don't have to worry about that if, if you got it. So in our constructor, uh, we'll want to make a constructor we are going to want to take three parameters, a main activity, a long, and an int. So so we need the main activity so we can reference the methods that are in the main activity that created this scanner BTLE. And then we're gonna want a long that's going to be used to determine how long the scanner should scan for. And then we're gonna need an int that will set the signal thresholds so our scanner app doesn't pick up a bunch of random and really weak Bluetooth signals. So we'll create the main activity. Um, activity. And oh, so we'll want the the private private variables. So we're gonna create that really quick. Uh, we'll need a Bluetooth adapter, a reference to Bluetooth adapter, and we will import that. And a a boolean that is going to represent the scanning state of the scanner. And then we'll also want a private handler that is going to be used later on when we are actually, when our scanner is scanning. And we'll import that as well. And then we want a private long for the scan period and a integer for the signal strength. Okay, it looks like I, oh, silly me, forgot to give this a name. So we'll give it Bluetooth adapter. So there are private variables and then we need to instantiate them in the onCreator. Oh, that's spelled wrong. That should be handler, not hangler. Um, new handler. And then the scan period. And then we want to make to, to instantiate our Bluetooth manager, or not Bluetooth manager, our Bluetooth adapter, we need to create a manager first. And that Bluetooth manager is going to be instantiated in this special way. Basically what that's doing is it's going to get a reference to the Bluetooth service on the phone. And then we'll want to get the Bluetooth adapter. All right, we want to instantiate it. And this is basically going to reference the actual um, Bluetooth like module on the phone. Get adapter. Um, so we can do things with it, like make make it make the device scan and whatnot. So we instantiated all those variables. Then we'll want to create a few methods. So the methods that we want is an 
is scanning method, which will return a Boolean that represents the scanning state of the scanner. Then we'll want a start method, which is going to be used by the main activity to start the scanner. Then we'll want a stop, which is also going to be used by the main activity. A scan LE device, which will make the Bluetooth adapter actually start searching for the Bluetooth low energy devices. Then we will want to set up a Bluetooth adapter dot LE scan callback, which is what the Bluetooth adapter will call whenever it finds a Bluetooth low energy device. In this function, we will call a method from the main activity that adds the device to the lists in the main activity. So is scanning. It's going to return a boolean. This is going to return the M scanning boolean that we instantiated. And then we will want to create the start method. So first we want to check if the Bluetooth is on. We're going to use the check Bluetooth method in the utils that I showed you earlier. And then if it is not on, it's going to we're going to have it request that from the user to turn it on and we'll give it a reference to our main activity so it can get the context. And then we want to stop the scanning um, because oh okay we don't have a uh, reference to that. We're going to write this anyways and then when we go back to the main activity uh, we'll create that method. So then we also if the Bluetooth is on then we want to call scan le device. We're going to and pass it true. Uh, we still have to write this function, uh, write it anyways, and then we'll we'll fix it really quick. Um, so then, next one we want public. We want to do the the stop. So stop. And basically, all we want to do here is just call scan le device false. And again, we're gonna fix that right up. Um, in this next uh, method. So the scan LE device method, it's going to be a private method and it's going to take a final boolean called enable. And what this is going to tell us to what this what the enable variable is going to do or parameter is going to do is it's going to tell the method whether or not it should disable the scanning or start the scanning. So we're going to create a toast so that you guys know when uh, the scanning has started. And then we're going to Oh, whoops. Okay, so over over that, we're going to want to check if enable is true. And we also want to check if m m scanning is false. Um because we don't want to start another scan if this thing is already scanning. Um let's see here. So this is where we're going to use the, the amp handler. Post delayed. Whoops. Delayed. And basically what this is going to do A second.
Um, so yeah, that's going to be red because we haven't defined the callback yet. Um, but leave that there and we'll get to it. And then we got to put the scan period. Or, whoops, not right there. Right here. Okay, so basically what this M handler is going to do is it's going to look at the scan period and wait that amount of time to run whatever is in this function right here. So we create the M handler and then right after that is where we actually start the scanning. So right here we do M scanning equals true and M Bluetooth adapter dot start LE scan M LE scan callback. Um, and again, we have to define this, and we're going to do that that next. So, so yeah. So basically, we start the scanning, and then this M handler right here is going to wait and stop the scanning. So then, the next thing we want to do is create the the callback. So that's going to be a private Bluetooth adapter. Callback, and we want to give it a name, MLE scan callback, and you'll see that it's the stuff is fine right now. And so in this on LE scan, this is what is going to be called whenever the Bluetooth adapter um, finds a Bluetooth device. And what we'll want to do is get a store a final int of the RSSI value. Um, because we're going to want to store this in the main activity. So if the RSSI is greater than the signal strength that we've already defined, then it's going to get then it's going to pass off the device to the main activity. Um, and we're going to use M handler again. It's going to add the device and this method also isn't defined in the uh, main activity but we're gonna get to it so just keep writing anyways and then we'll, we'll we'll fix it right up in the next video okay so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna make it auto add the uh, hold on We're gonna have it auto add the methods in the main activity. And we'll do the same for stop scan as well. Um, so that'll stop yelling at us. So, and then in here we wanna do device new RSSI. Um, oh, okay, we, we need to make this final right here. So, Yeah, we gotta change that. Okay, so yeah, basically what it did, it, it changed the signature in the main activity. So it's taking a device now in a new RSSI. So that is, uh, so we should be good for the scanner. Um, and in the next video, we will change some of the stuff in the main activity so that it actually makes use of the scanner. All right, I'll see you guys then.